Hello, Taurus. How is everyone today? How are all the Taurus out there today? If you haven't already met Remy, this is Remy, my new sidekick, my mascot, my assistant for the Deep Soul Tarot Tribe. Remy is here to let you know what we're doing your love reading today and to remind you, subscribe and join the tribe. <laughs> Remy will be over here for every reading that I do. Okay. So we're going to be doing your love reading today, Taurus, for March 2020. Um, this is a general read, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time is fluid. Time is an illusion, I'm sorry, and energy is fluid, what I meant to say. Um, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, um, I've had too much coffee I think, and I just lost my, so this may not resonate with everyone, take two. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So this, some of this may have already happened to you, is happening to you right now, or may not have happened yet and will be happening in the very near future or even in the future, depending on when you watch this even. Um, these are timeless readings. So this is for the energy of March 2020, but it's energy when moving forward. And so, um, if you happen to watch this at a later date past March 2020, that's okay. That is most likely when you were guided to watch the, the video. And if it does end up resonating, then there were message, messages for you at that time. Okay. Um, what else? This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and also Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter. But particularly your Sun sign. Venus and your moon sign. If you don't know the placements in your chart, I strongly encourage you to get that. I will include a link down below so you can check that out. Enter your birthday. Click on that. Enter your birthday. It will give you your chart free of charge. Um, if you know your time of birth, that's even better because then you can get your rising sign in addition to your birth chart. Okay? All right. So let's get going here. It's been a very trying day for me. Um, so... I'm just praying that I don't get interrupted doing your reading tours. I'm doing these a little later in the day. The last time I did that, my roommate came home early from work. Let's hope that doesn't happen this time. Let's hope that doesn't happen because it was very, it was just not good. Okay, I'm going to take a moment to be with spirit. Feel the energies, kind of ground myself here. If you want to do the same thing, close your eyes, take a deep breath. Even pause the video if you would like. Whew, okay. Let me concentrate. Feel the energies. Hello, Spirit. What messages do you have for all the Taurus out there in love situations? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and even Mercury, Jupiter, and Mars. For the month of March 2020 and moving forward. What messages do you have for our Taurus for March 2020 in love situations? March 2020 and moving forward. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, here we go. So, if you do know your birth chart, or when you do look up your birth chart, if this does resonate, those can give you more information. If this doesn't resonate, or only parts of it do, um, those can give you more information. But sometimes your other signs in your birth chart, particularly Venus for love, resonates more than your sun sign. So, um, just saying. And if there are any cross-watchers out there, hello cross-watchers, the roles can be reversed in these readings also. So if it doesn't resonate for you, it could very well be your other person. And same for the cross-watchers, you know. You will know when you hear the messages. Okay, well, let me flip these around. When I, when I shuffle them, there we go, see, when I shuffle them the opposite direction, which I don't usually shuffle cards this way, I don't usually shuffle the cards where I can see the cards. Um, and these, when I do it the opposite direction, they seem to come out easier. So, we'll do that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I can take that. But wait, did I mess up the cards here? Yes, I did. There's a whole bunch of... Here, I'm going to take these two. Those flipped over uh, face down. All right. Okay, let me make sure the rest of the cards are okay. All right. Spirit says, maybe a few more pulls. There's one, two, and three. 
a three. All right. Nothing in that pool. But these came in reverse. Kind of sideways in reverse. We're going to do it kind of the way they fell. We'll see as we go along here. But bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. Well, Taurus. Nice. Ten of Pentacles. That is a lesson that has been learned. Something's been completed. And it's, it's abundance in every way. Could be financially. This is a love read, so it's very likely it's, it's uh, abundance in love. Very content with where you are at right now, whether that's on your own or with somebody. We'll see as we go along and see what we have over here. We have, again, a few face up and a, couple, a few face down. This is how I read it. What's on the surface, on the external, or more apparent. Underlying the issue, maybe not as obvious, could even be within you. Dormant within you or not even realized within you, okay? We'll save those for later. And just very quickly before I start, if I refer to any of the cards as he or she, that has to do with only feminine and masculine energy. It has nothing to do with your particular physical gender, okay? So we all have feminine and masculine energy within us. We usually, usually resonate with one more than the other, but it has nothing to do with your physical gender. Some males can resonate more with feminine energy. Some females can resonate more with masculine energy. It just depends. These are not based on gender as far as the relationship. It can be a heterosexual relationship or a same-sex relationship. Um, you know, you take it as it resonates. Okay? Let's look at these here. Well, first, I'm going to look at them face up. This one came out later. We're going to look at these two and then that one. So, um, okay, the strength, yeah, the strength card is kind of obvious, you know, strength is strength, courage, and then the seven of swords here is about some sort of deception or lies, and the six of swords is moving away from something, which in this case I'm feeling is moving away from that. Um, And they came up in reverse. So I'm going to put them in reverse now. This one was in reverse, but more sideways. So, Taurus. Something had required you to gather all your courage and strength by somebody deceiving you. And you have either exited that situation or you're in the process of moving away from that. You're not quite there yet. Um, I'm feeling this kind of a slow moving energy. But with the Ten of Pentacles, I'm hearing that there was a lesson to be learned here. Um, maybe you're single now. You know, I'm going to take this down because the Nine of Cups, the Nines can very much be independence and being single. One person, you yourself. Um, you're content where you're at right now. Um, and underneath that is the Hanged Man, which means you're not really doing a whole lot of action. Just kind of hanging out. Maybe you got out of a relationship and are just, you're just, you're single now and you're happy with the way things are in your life right now. You're happy not being in a relationship per se. Now, because you are watching a love tarot card reading, I'm assuming that maybe you are now at a period where you are looking for new love. So let's see what we have under here, shall we? Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, sirree. All right. We have the Queen of Swords, which normally can be a little daunting, but this time I'm not feeling, I'm feeling positive energy here, Taurus. You have, so the Queen of Swords, cutting something out. The Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. So, very nice energy. The Nine of Cups, the Nine and the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles, which can be abundance and love. The Queen of Swords is cutting something out. I'm hearing that you are... Wait a minute. Maybe you've already cut the person out. Because what I'm hearing here with the Six of Swords is you have gone through, yes I am, I'm hearing that you've cut some person out 
I mean, and no looking back. You just did it. There was some sort of deception. This is like, it's, because it's in reverse, I'm thinking this is the past. And it took all your strength and your courage to finally um, eliminate this person out of your life. And the Six of Swords is moving away completely. But what I'm hearing is maybe you were still in that, uh, uh, I'm going to say either breakup energy or the energies that linger after a breakup. You know, there can be anger, there can be hurt. There were things that you needed to work through. And I think that may be what you're cutting out. You cut out the person and you, this is kind of like the, the mid, maybe you're in this process right now of still dealing with the emotions and stuff that go with that, the emotional baggage. But I'm hearing that you're moving towards calmer waters, which m more towards, um, you're happy right now where you're at being single. Um, you have your abundance in every way, but I'm hearing that. The Knight of Cups can kind of be consumed. If you can see in this picture, he's underwater. This person is underwater. Again, it's masculine energy because it's the knight. Um, but that's the only, it has nothing to do with your gender. The person is on a horse moving forward. And, um, I mean, you can just imagine trying to move forward on a horse underwater. Kind of consumed with emotions. Kind of consumed with emotions, so still working through that. Um, but the Knight of Cups is about a mission. Right, and so um, I'm hearing that you are working through those emotions, maybe the negative emotions and the hurt that may have gone with, with the breakup or whatever this situation was, but you're move, still moving forward. It may be slow because you're trying to get through the emotions right now, but I'm hearing that you are gradually moving forward and you're going to be ready for new love and somebody is going to offer you a cup of love. Nice. Very nice, Taurus. All right. And again, this can be isn't that interesting. I'm just going to point out there's the Nine of Cups. I haven't shuffled the cards yet. I already pre-shuffled them all. And this is what ended up on the bottom of the deck. So you already have the Nine of Cups on there. So there you go. And the lover's under that. <laughs> okay. But, okay. Here we go. There's one cab. There's one cab. Oh, two of Pentacles in reverse. Upright. Trying to balance something. Indecision. Trying to make a choice. Made a choice. Made a choice. Cut the person out. Took a leap of faith. Cut the person out. All right. And these cards are just shooting out for you, Taurus. Death in reverse. Cut someone out. Yeah, I, I hear you already cut the person out. I want to put this up here. I'm hearing you already cut the person out and have already started a trans your transformation uh, away from this particular relationship. And slow and steady wins the race. You've done very slow and calculated. You are ready for new love. This is a passionate new beginning. Absolutely. Moving forward. Putting it into action. Getting yourself out there again. Getting yourself out there again, Taurus. Beautiful. I'm just going to get the card for the Queen of Swords. What can we get for the Queen of Swords? What can you tell me about the energy of the Queen of Swords for Taurus? Yeah. I, I'm feeling... I'm hearing that you... Yes, nine of pentacles, there's that nine, independence, and there's right before the ten, abundance in every way. You took care of your own business. You said, I'm not putting up with this person's bullshit anymore, you're out. I'm not dealing with you anymore. You left this person out in the cold. I mean, you just left, this is the ice queen, I call her the ice queen. She does things without any emotion, not double, whatever doesn't serve her, she cuts it out. No, doesn't serve me, you're out. You betray me, you're out. Five pentacles, you left them out in the cold. You're moving forward and you're moving forward fast. Uh, and I'm hearing, <laughs> Taurus, <laughs> you're the bull. Moving full force. Get out of my way. I'm ready for new love. I'm, I'm working through these emotions. I'm ready for new love. I'm good. I'm, gonna, I'm ready to go out there and meet some new people. All right. Let's just see what we can get for nine of cups. The car just flew on the floor. Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. Lesson learned. What I say with the Wheel of Fortune is, if you don't spin, you can't win. And I think you are ready to spin that wheel, Taurus. You're ready to spin that wheel. And your luck is changing. 
I'm hearing your luck is changing or the wheel's going to spin in your favor for new love. That's what I'm hearing. There's the Ace of Swords. Truth. Brand new beginning. Um, you're true to yourself. True to yourself here, Taurus. The Knight of Cups. You're, you're moving forward regardless of any emotional issues that you were dealing with. You may have just plowed right through them and said, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. You healed from that and you're moving on. Lesson learned. Wow. Okay. And the Page of Cups. We'll get a card for the Page of Cups just to see. There it is. Wow. Your cards just flew out. Okay. Taurus. Two of Swords. Okay. The Two of Swords can be caught in your thoughts. Um, maybe you're caught in your thoughts having a hard time making a choice. But it's also about intuition. And I think... You listen. To, there's a slow and steady wins the race again. You listen to your intuition, and you slowly but surely got yourself away from this situation, whatever situationship, whatever that was. Uh, but you're moving forward. Four of Swords. You took some time out. I guess a lot of times it's a call for someone to take a time out, but I think you already have. You've dealt with your heartbreak. You've dealt with the truth. You took a time out. Or just take a step back, took a breath and said, I'm ready. I accept it for what it is. It is what it is. I'm ready to move on when the, when the time is right. When the time is right, I'll know it. I'll meet the person and the time will be right. Wow. What's under this? Knight of, oh, that's right. Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Wow. <laughs> That was just amazing because it was so quick that it just came out. Just, it's all here. I'm going to I'm gonna leave that there. I'm going to get one more card for the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords is sideways. So let's see what the Six of Swords. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. You got a lot of, a lot of, whoa. And you got the Six of Cups. Ooh. And the fool. This could be someone from your past. Could be a twin flame situation. If you're in a twin flame connection, could be a twin flame. But this is like about childhood from your past memories. This could very well be someone from your past coming back. And you know, in the in the in the uh, fool underneath, they're saying take a leap of faith with this person. It's someone you dated before. Maybe you're going to have a, a reunion or a reconnection with them. Reconciliation? Very possible. Because you have a lot of sixes here. Here's the six of wands. Victory. You're going to have victory in love. Victory in love. I'm hearing that very loudly. Victory in love. Okay. These are the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. By. Who is this by? Denise Lynn. What message do you have for the Taurus out there. Oh, well, there you go. There's your can. There's your can. Flow. Go with the flow. There's the full moon we just had. Go with the flow. Underneath that is release. The release. You release something. You've had so much growth. Um, yes, you've released all the negative energy. Uh, flow. And your card that actually came out is protection. This is interesting. I'm going to move the flow card. We're going to look at the cards here one at a time. So you got the card protection, okay? Regardless of the storms here, this is like an elm tree. You are a very strong, stoic person. Um, it's almost like you had a shield, and this person tried to zap you. They tried to zap your strength. They tried to zap you. Not possible, Taurus. You're too strong-willed for that. You're too strong-willed. Again, you're Taurus the bull. Nothing's going to stop you. And that's the protection. You protected yourself. You protected yourself from this person hurting you ever again. And then look underneath that. I mean, just two trees. Look at the growth. You know, you protected yourself and release. You release this person. You release the negative energy. And, I mean, it's, it's your brand new tree. It's a brand new tree. And the flow. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. And you, I think you're, you're going to... Uh, you're going to meet your person, and 
I'm hearing this person may be very protective of you. They're going to they're going to care for you so much, they're going to be extremely protective of you. Wow. Um, I have extra time, so I may do an extra oracle card for you. Because your, your message came out so quickly that I'm going to do first the animal messages. Okay? See what comes out there. And then I may do um, another one in between before I have the... Um, Oracle, Queen of the Oracle Moon cards that I'm doing simply because we had the full moon. And it just seems appropriate right now. So, let's see what we can get for your animal message. And there we go. It just flew right up. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. On the bottom of the deck you got Scorpion, but it was in reverse. I don't particularly read these in reverse, but the scorpion says, in a new relationship, passion offers the challenge of ecstasy and pain. Maybe this other person was somebody new you were seeing recently, and although there was passion and you had, there were good parts of the relationship, they actually called you pain, caused you pain. Um, in addition to that, this is protect your heart from those who may cheat before they hurt you. So with this person right here, Maybe this person was lying to you and you protected yourself. I think that's why protection is here. I mean, it's interesting that you got protect in both. You were clever enough, strong enough to protect yourself. You found out that this person did something to deceive you. And at first you didn't have the courage to do it. Maybe you weren't even sure at that time. But you took the necessary steps. You were very slow and calculated, I heard. I'm hearing. I'm hearing. And you made a decision. You were up back and forth about what to do up and down. You finally made your decision. You ended the relationship. You've gone through your transformation. This is the... What did I do with that card? <laughs> it is the Six of Swords. Uh, so sorry. I Somehow I... Maybe I put the card back in the deck? I do not know now. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I'm hearing that you protected your heart from that person who may have cheated or hurt you further. I think you've exited the relationship before they even got to that point. Which is, it's, I, find, I find that to be very smart and very clever. I'm going to do um, an enchanted map oracle card because there's some extra time here. So, because um, like I said, your cards fell out so quickly and just tied in. It was just kind of apparent. What, um, one ring circus came out. One ring circus. Let me see. That is card number 15. One ring circus. Let me see. Let me get to that. You are capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision of resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent. Capable of, makes you particularly competent, capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. So I'm also hearing here, um, Taurus, is with also with the protection, you may still need to protect yourself um, because you got out of a relationship. You may be more inclined to protect your heart a little bit. But I don't think you're against finding new love because you have the Page of Cups here. And let's get a little further guidance from the Queen of the Moon oracles. And like I said, we just had a new moon. And that's why I'm using these cards. Resilience, definitely. Taurus, you're very strong. You're resilient. Oh, I thought two cards came out. Just one. Realization. Waning Crescent 1. That's card number 3. Realization. Can you see how there's a keyhole like right here. And when I first saw that, the first thing I thought was realization is key here. You realized that this was not your person.
So I'm hearing that you moved away from a situationship. That's what I'm going to call it. To independence now, but headed towards a new love. Whatever you realize with that person, it's like you dodged a bullet. You realize before, um, and you may have caught them in some sort of deceit or lying, and that just doesn't fly with you. That is just not going to fly with you, and you've already, that's it. I mean, that's just not something I can tolerate. I cannot tolerate that. I cannot tolerate deceit or lying of any in any way. So I'm hearing that you realize that. And you realize by getting out of that relationship, you're okay on your own. You are okay on your own. And um, resilient. You're competent. You have the wisdom. The one, ring, the one Ring Circus, I'm hearing, look, you're perfectly fine and strong on your own. And if new love comes, if someone offers you a cup of love, yeah, you're open to that. You're open to that because you've worked through what you needed to work through. But you're taking a time out right now. You're taking a time out to heal in order to be ready for new love. Taking a time out to heal in order to be ready for new love. That is exactly what I'm hearing here, Taurus. And you will have abundance in every way. But I think you're very content with the way your life is right now. It's not that you have to have love. And you were fine. This, this may have hurt you and this may, but I'm hearing you're, you're very strong and you move forward. You're moving forward. It's like, you know what? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Felicia. I don't need this. I don't need this crap in my life. Everything else in my life is going fine. I don't need you wrecking it all. I don't need you being a chain or a ball and chain around my ankle that every time it's... No. I don't need someone who's going to lie to me and be deceitful. And I'm not even going to give you the chance to even go further with that. Cheat. Whatever. You, you nipped it in the bud, really. So... Well, Taurus, I hope this helped you in some way. And if it did and it resonated, I would ask you to please, please smash that like button. So I know. I, a feedback is always appreciated. And if you smash that like button, I would appreciate it. So at least I know it resonated or you did like this video. Um, and commenting would be great, too. I would love to hear from y'all. Um... And do consider subscribing and hitting the bell button icon right next to the subscribe button. So subscribe and join the tribe. I mean, um, I do a whole bunch of different types of readings. I am in the process, obviously, of doing zodiac signs. But if you check your chart, the only two I have left are Pisces and... Oh, Pisces. I think Pisces is it. So if you're... Except for Pisces, if any of your um, placements are in any of the other zodiacs, I've already done all those love readings. I do daily readings. So if you hit the subscribe button and the bell button, you will be notified of any videos I upload, and you can pick and choose. You can, you know, if you don't like pick a card readings, well, sometimes I do those occasionally. Um, you can just surpass those. But by chance, if you come across one of my daily reads, or I do twin flame readings, which I will be doing very soon, if that's something you're into, you'll get those notifications. Um, or next month's, April's notifications um, for uh, the love reads and what have you. So... I would love for you to join the tribe and um, hit that bell button so you can be notified of further videos. You can get more information about your love situation. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I'll be doing a daily, daily reading. I call it the Daily Dose, Daily Dose of Wisdom. Tomorrow is kind of a Thursday Thoughts. And it's not just for Thursday. It's to help us forward in our journeys. And a lot of times it turns toward love or gives you information in that aspect. So that can give you um, some information in your own situation there. All right. So anyways, Taurus, I hope you will join and subscribe and uh, join the tribe and smash that like button and even share this with your fellow um, Taurus or someone you know who's dealing with the Taurus or uh, anybody else who may need the message, you know. Um, I would appreciate it. I appreciate you tuning in, Taurus. And again, I hope this did help. And I hope you will come back again. But definitely subscribe and join the tribe. And I'm going to be, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. I am going to try to go live on Instagram, do live streams. You only have an hour on there, so 
I, you know, going on there is just kind of, it's, I'll do it, but I'd rather go live on YouTube. Unfortunately, I do on, this on my phone, and apparently when you do it on your phone, you have to have a, a thousand subscribers to be able to go live, which I was bummed, because March was the month I was going to go live, and now I can't until I get to a thousand subscribers, which I hope is soon, because I want to go live. <laughs> I can be patient, but I really, really would like to go live so I can hang with y'all and, and do a reading for those live sessions, but whatever. So anyways, thank you for tuning in. Love you all and peace out.